Greetings everyone, this is just a short video to show you how to use Yuja to upload and trim your videos to use in your Canvas course. Now this is really geared towards people here at the University of Kentucky, but it may be applicable to others. The way we get to the uh, Yuja user interface for the University of Kentucky is that we type in uh, uky.yuja, yu ja.com The reason why we go to this interface versus right in Canvas is that this is really the only place you can use to trim the video upload and trim. I use my link blue to sign in. This is a single sign on here at the University of Kentucky. You may need to put in your username and password at that page. I'm already signed in, so it takes me to my videos and my organization here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a new video. Click on Upload. I'm going to Browse. I have this video located in my video folder here, so I'm going to select it. I'm going to Open. I'm going to click on Start Upload. You'll see down here at the bottom Depending on your connection, it may or may not, and the length of your video, it may or may not take uh, a little longer. And now it's actually processing the video. Again, depending on the length of your video, this may take uh, seconds or minutes to uh, take place. Okay, my video has done uh, processing now, and you can see it took about four to five minutes to do. So we're going to click or hover over here right now and uh, you can control a few things from here just to play it back or to share it directly from Yuja. Um, publish, delete it, edit it. I'm going to go to editing is what I'm going to do because what I want to do is trim off the front and back. All the editing should happen right in your in your browser. So now that we're coming to the editing window you can see we have a number of controls here. Uh, you can see the audio down here at the bottom. Sometimes that can give you a good visual cue for where you want to edit things. Uh, any captions uh, which have not been created yet. And then just normal playback up here. We can hit play and listen to it. Hey everybody, this is my welcome video. <clears throat> oh, let's start that again. Hey everybody, this is my welcome video. So you can see really where I want to start it is from right there. So here's what we can do. All we need to do is click on the scissors tool over here and then basically select the area that you want to cut out. So select that area and then click again. Um, so that is considered a cut. Now let's listen here from a little further on. Uh, and uh, so welcome. Got an awkward pause and there. This is the end that I want to cut off. And I want to cut off all that afterwards. So then all I have to do is select maybe an appropriate spot right here someplace. Click on the cut button again, and then basically select all the part at the end that I want to cut off and click again. So you can see now that it's cutting off the beginning and the end. At this point, I could just save it and it would cut those off. You can also double click on the cut for additional options so that you can trim it exactly as you want to and apply if you want to get really into the details. But at this point, since we're just focusing on this one part, um, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to save it. It's going to ask me now if I want to apply the edits um, and if I want to change the title. Uh, I could just go ahead and replace the existing video or I could exit without saving or I could save it as a brand new video. So say you want to make multiple edits of something, you could save it as new video. In this case, I don't need that front and back. So I'm just going to um, replace the existing video. I can leave that as a title if I want to or change it, but I'm just going to click on replace existing video. It's going to ask me if I want to preserve an original, um, but I don't need to. I'm just going to move it to the recycle bin and confirm. And it says it's been submitted. Once it loads up here, then we can test it out after it's processed. So we're going to have to wait for a few more minutes again, um, and we'll come back uh, once it's processed to test it out again.
And now you can see it took about four minutes to edit it the second time. I can click on the play button here. Review. Hey everybody, this is my welcome video, so I just want to welcome you. Uh, and uh, so welcome. So there's my welcome video and it seems to be properly edited and so now we're going to go and flip over to to Canvas. I've uh, created a page here that I'm going to put the video into in Canvas. Uh, usually what you do is click on the apps button here. You may need to click on view all if you haven't used Yuja before but if you've used Yuja it should be up at the top. Click on there. And then once it loads up, it usually takes a minute or, or a few seconds anyways, you'll see that it loaded up right here at the top. That thumbnail will come up eventually, but it just doesn't happen right at the beginning. I can click on there, insert content. You can save. And then you can test it out again. Looks like it's working. You can use the Yuja plugin to add this video then to an announcement, even an in, uh, inbox email in Canvas, uh, to an assignment, to um, anything you want to, really anywhere that has that uh, the menu up at the top. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions down below.